Programming is definitely about problem solving. People get daunted by funny languages and funny symbols appearing on the screen, but it's actually not that complicated. That's the easy part, actually picking that up. And it, just about anybody can, can learn that part of it. The, hard, the harder bit is the, is the problem solving. That's where it gets interesting and exciting. You have the opportunity of working with people to develop a solution that neither you nor the person can actually envisage. You're creating something that neither of you could do alone. You're working together to develop something completely new and completely radical. It is a people industry. Um, it is an industry that covers everything from engineering, um, accountants, lawyers, um, timber merchants, you know, all industries have computing in them. It's no longer about you know, sitting in a room in isolation, it's about being part of a network of people who all want to help and do the same thing. Computers are incredibly stupid. The real challenge in programming, in fact, is the stupidity of the computer and the degree to which you have to break down everything into really simple steps. We tend to understand things in large chunks and, and we think about a whole process all in one go. And to to program a computer, you have to be able to do that, but then you also have to be able to break that process down into its little parts. If you can break down, you know, big problems into smaller problems, suddenly life becomes very easy. And that's, that's one of the, yeah, that's one of the things you would learn, that, that's what you're taught to do. So everything that you learn today is going to be obsolete in two years' time and you'll have a new toy to play with. And it's that idea of you can move into a profession that never stays still, you know. That's one of the joys of, of coding and being involved in that industry is it's always going to change, you're always going to have new challenges, you're always going to have new adventures. 